okay we you have seen uh, i have changed the details of this uh, table so i'm going to change again one again one record sunil i'm going to change sunil ekanayaka age is 30 and up click update button so you can see are you sure to update if you click the yes button it will execute and update in the record uh, in the table so if you don't want to update just click this no button right so i want to update this one and click this one yes okay see after updating these things you can see in the grid view right so let let me show you how to uh, code for delete button this one right okay just go to the delete button double click and go to delete so find out the delete text box text file okay delete delete this one okay just copy and come to visual studio and paste it now you know what are the what should you do in the tech codings what just delete all the green ones no need to keep those things we need to change this one text box id and write the change the query name query data query uh, delete from not the data employee I, where id according to the id we need to delete our record right so that's all so there is few things change after deleting these things text box id and text box name and text box age we have to remove or we have to clean all the text boxes right text box age right text box age right okay so same as previous uh, one so we have to call the load table method so i already called the load table method that means after deleting you cannot you can see the changes in the data grid view right so let me run this one and show you okay i'm going to select this one first the kasum 30 so i'm going to delete this one delete i show to delete yes okay record has been deleted so you can see it's uh, deleted from the data grid view also right that means first uh, deleted from the database in the table employee so then you you can see the updates of the table here right data grid view 